Okay. Then my question is, how can a building become the church? Who told you that? Who told you the building was church? The scriptures say it's just brick and mortar. Correct. But then why do we call the building the church? All right, uh, what's your name and where you're tapping in from and what's your faith? You're speaking to me? Just don't know for sure. It's my yes. first. Yes. My name is Deacon Chapman. I'm in Tacoma, Washington. And what's your faith? Uh, my question would be- Where's your light? Where's the lighting? You have no lighting. You're in darkness. Why are you in darkness? Here, wait one moment. Okay, brother. <coughs> Now the other guy gonna say he called him brother. Can you see me now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. So where where are you tapping in from, sir? Tacoma, Washington. All right. And your faith is? And that's the question I want to ask. You said what faith? Uh, could you explain that to me pertaining to when you say what faith? Are you telling me you don't know what faith means? No, I, I believe I understand what faith means, but you said, what faith am I in? There's more There's more than one faith. Don't you agree? Um, could you explain that to me? Because my understanding about faith is what you believe in and believing in that the creator of heaven and earth, God, is, is that source of faith. Correct. Correct. Faith is what you believe. Uh, you know what you believe that you can cannot see. Correct. I understand. All right. All right. No problem. So, what's the name of your faith? Is it is it uh Christianity? Are you Muslim or what are you? Well, those are religions. Okay. So, what what are you? My, I'm neither of those. But I said, uh, what are you? I'm a child of God. I'm a creation of God, and I believe in pertaining to how the word. Uh, that I've studied for years, I had one understanding pertaining to when I was a, a member. Hold on one second. Before we go any further, let's just iron out this first part. Okay. You said you're a child of God. Yes. Satan was a child of God as well. He's just a disobedient child. Correct. What is your faith, brother? What do you call it? I profess to be holy. We pro we profess that we are part of the God's true way of holiness. What do you profess? Okay, I understand you was going to that because I have listened to Apostle Geno Jennings. Okay. That you were going to speak on that, not, not being disrespectful, but I was going into the point of pertaining to faith. I believe God is the creator. And yes, I've studied to where he said he commanded us to be holy. And I was leading up to that, but letting you know pertaining to my past concerning how I was raised, because a lot of questions are asked pertaining to what is your faith? Well, my faith is in God and believing that God exists. That's, that's where your me. that's where your faith is. I say, what is your faith? Not where it is. What is it? There's some people okay. who are Muslim that will say that their faith is in God. You understand what I'm saying? What do you call your belief? To be holy, to be an obedient child okay. of God. So you're a part of God's true way of holiness. True way of holiness, yes. Okay, all right. That's all I'm trying to figure out, man. You don't but, get over that. I'm not trying to, I don't want you to think because the people watch my videos, they think I'd be trying to attack people. No, I'm no. Not. I, I like to I, pick people apart and figure out where the truth is in them and where the lie is, but I'm not attacking people that come on my show unless they blaspheme. That's all. Okay, but, and, you can and, continue. And then that you said pertaining to how people may receive questions the way they're asked, and concerning uh, statements that could be uh, perceived to be attacking. The scripture mm -hmm. says we don't rest against flesh and blood; we fight against evil and wicked principalities in high places. Mm -hmm. So that's all within self, you know, pertaining to what. Our battle is in our minds, correct? Yeah, that's correct. Okay, I understand. All right, so let me ask you a question. 
Yes. So it says we we fight against the uh, the wicked in high places and spirits, right? Correct. When you're talking to a person who is of the devil, they're being charged by a spirit. But let me ask you a question. So I'm not trying to destroy the person. I'm fighting against the spirit in the person that they're being influenced by. It just on the, in the in the in the uh, carnal sense, the the in the physical realm, you just see me going after the person. You don't know I'm talking to the spirit in that person. See the guy who just came on the show. I was talking to the spirit in him. I wasn't trying to destroy him. I was talking to the spirit that he's influenced by. Continue. Okay, say you was talking to the spirit that was in him. So I'm perceiving to to think that when we are this, which which I know because I've experienced that before in conversation with uh, other individuals over the years in pertaining to the conversation, the words that uh, express between the two. Because I like good counseling. With good, when you have good counseling, you get a better understanding. You get a uh, the understanding of the foundation in the body of Christ, the Church of God. Correct? Yeah. Do you have a question? What was your purpose for coming on? I'm just trying to. Well, I wanted to hear. Well, I do have a question. Okay. I've been wanting to ask this question, um, and I knew it would have been hard for me to. Uh, get an audience with uh, the apostle, Gino, uh, Brother Gino Jennings. My question is, pertaining to the name. You said brother. You don't consider him a pastor or an apostle or anything like that? No, I said apostle Gino Jennings. I'm just trying to figure out uh, what was going on. Go ahead. Okay. And I know the way I'm going to ask this question, I'm going to try to ask it to where you might be able to understand why I'm asking now, my belief that the church is one who is a believer that has been baptized in the body, in, in water, into the body of Christ, correct? No. It's not? No. Nope. So we're not baptized into the body of Christ. The understanding of that belief of the death, burial, and resurrection of, of the Lord and Savior. Okay. I'm getting ready to give you some shocking information. Okay. There are some people who have not been baptized, okay, that have the Holy Spirit. They're a part of the body as well. But once you once you get the Holy Spirit, you still need to be baptized. Does that make sense? Yes. I was just... Uh, All yes, right. Too. I'm not I, just want, I just don't want you to think that, that people that are, haven't been baptized are not a part of the body. You can receive the Holy Spirit without being baptized. Continue, brother. Okay. I, under, I understand that. Um, but my question is pertaining to... Once the individual is baptized into the body of Christ, and yes, uh, confess that our Lord and Savior is Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit comes upon a person that is a believer. It, am I saying that correct? No. Um, you, you, you have to, okay, look, you are absolutely a believer. I shouldn't have said no. Forgive me for that. Yes, you have to be a believer in order to receive the Holy Spirit. Correct. Continue. Okay. And, and then God adds us to his church, correct? That is correct. The Holy okay. Spirit is what adds you to the body of Christ, which is the church, correct? Okay. Then my question is, how can a building become the church? Who told you that? Who told you the building was church? The scriptures say it's just brick and mortar. Correct. But then why do we call the building the church? It's just an analogy. But isn't that a lie? It's an analogy. It's still a church physically. It's just not the church spiritually. Oh, okay. How is it a church physically? It has no knowledge of existence. And it's, it's a building that made of material things, yes, that God created, like wood, stone, and, and everything else. And right. it says that we are not to worship those things because our God the creator is a jealous God and he has commanded us not to worship false idols. My question is, why do we call a building that a man buys and call it the church? Okay. I see what you're doing. Uh, let me explain this. I'm just, break I, it. No, I'm no, 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 no. I'm going to break it down. No, I see. Okay. Maybe you're not intentionally doing this. 
Uh, first of all, let me just ask you one question. Have you seen anybody in holiness worship the building? <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. So I'm going to go back and say it again. The, the, the building carnally, physically is brick and mortar. We call it the church. The church, the real church is a spiritual body, right? So what I'm saying is this. If we don't call it the church and I say, meet me at the church, well, how are we, how we going to know where to come together and exhort each other and, and, and fellowship together? Okay, I understand that. I understand that. I'm not disagreeing with that. I'm okay. just trying to get a, a better uh, understanding, a better understanding, understanding of the foundation of, of, the, of the mindset that I'm recognizing how people more so say that the form of worship is when we the body of Christ assembles on a day that's set aside by the, the shepherd of the flock at the time, wherever the location may be, and that we are to worship in spirit and truth when we are together. What, is, that what, is, the understanding what, is, what do you I need people. help with? What do you need help with? I mean, because I, excuse me. I, what do you, what do you need understanding with? What do you not understand? What can I help you with? Did My you get question, your understanding from what I just said? My question was, why is it in the mindset of believers today of calling a building the church when the building becomes the house of God when the church assembles in that building? You just, called it, church. You just, you just called it a church too. But what I'm saying is this. How did I call it a church? <laughs> <laughs> You did. Just, you just I, called it a church. That's I, listen. Let me tell you why people call it a church. They've been conditioned to do that because that's the title that that the building has been given where people come and worship the Lord. Okay, it's been called that, the church, so that's why okay, people call okay. it that. I understand that? I understand. I'm not. I understand it. I, I'm no, you don't. Because if you did, you wouldn't ask that question. Say again. You don't understand it because if you did, you wouldn't ask that question. People have no, been conditioned to call it. I was church. referring to what you said, being conditioned of calling that building the church. Oh, okay. okay. If forgive me, go ahead. If we are the church, not not if we are, being that we are the church, whoever God has added to His church. I can't say you're not. I can't say somebody else is not. I'm just saying pertaining to God adding to His church daily. Because that's written, correct? Add into a church daily? Absolutely. Okay. That's every day. And my understanding is that let we me, are to worship in spirit and truth. One second. Let, let me just say this one thing. The scriptures says, really, the proper term for what we call church, it should be called the house of prayer. It should be called the house of prayer. That's the proper term. Because he said, my house should be called the house of prayer. The house of prayer. Absolutely. Continue. See, that helps me out to understand. Uh, well, to it, it reaffirms that I don't like saying because I'm trying to stay on that path, that the, the perfection of the path of righteousness. Me too. Understand. Absolutely. I know, I know how it is to be tortured to want to be right because it, it tortures you sometimes just to want to be right. I know yes. what you're going through. Yes. And I just I just feel that the understanding that we as people have on earth today, everybody has the concept that on Sunday, we're going to church. My understanding that the church of God assembles to worship, not the right. building. Right, right, absolutely. But, but my, but the condition of the minds today, people believe, okay, I gotta go to church over here to this place. Or I got to go to church over here to that place or wherever. I'm like, wait a minute. My understanding There's is only one church, right? One church. No, I understand what you're saying, brother. Uh, that's why the house of prayer, no matter where it is or what address it is, that's always right and exact. That's why it's in the scriptures. My house should be called the house of prayer, right? So even if we call the, the false church a house of prayer, it's still a house of prayer. Because they praying to another God, but it's still a house of prayer. But, but God said, my house, God, God said, hold up, wait, God, God said, my house, 
Right, my house, but house I would of prayer. call a false uh, 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 church or a, a building uh, a house of prayer if they're preaching falsely. If you're listening. Falsely. You're listening right now to respond and not to understand. I said, even if the false church called themselves a house of prayer, it's still right and exact. Only difference is they're praying to another God. But God said, my house should be called the house of prayer. Obviously, when it, what makes it his house is beyond who you, just prayer. It's who you're praying to. You got to be praying to the God Almighty. That's what I'm saying. I understand. All right, brothers, anything else you would like to know before we move forward? I've been uh, now, live for about I, an hour and a half. I, I try to keep this stuff short, I, but I might have to chop I, it up. I, uh, I received my blessing. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you, sir. And that and that was not me, to be honest with you, because I don't even, um, I don't know the scriptures this good. I have help when I come out here and talk to y'all. I really yeah. do. I really do, brother. Thank you for coming on, brother. Thank Chapman. you. Thank you for welcoming me. All right. Take care.